Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, folks, regardless on what this appears like, uh, this black mamba is not being starved to death. It ate a nice sized rat last night, but as you can see, it's very, very interested in, in more food. And because of this mood, I have to be very careful because it comes out and completely across the room just like it did. Get in there, you foul beast. Get back in your cage. That's very bad. If you go in your cage, I will feed you. See, now it's a good thing we're in the new lair because I have room to uh, maneuver in the other snake room. That would have been very bad. Okay, here, now eat it. It's already dead. It's already dead. Just eat it. Come on. Go back into your cage. There you go. There you go. Now, come on. I know, I'm touching you. I'm touching you. Yes, I know. Come on. There you go. There you go. Now, can I close the door here? Can I close the door? Yeah, right, I'm going to close the door. And there you have it. That is uh, one scary feeder. Now, this, was, this move was very unsettling for all these guys. Oh, not you again. Um, the Taipan just really hasn't been herself, as you can see. Hey. I know. I know. You, you want to bite that? is going on here all these uh, all these serpents uh, decide to come out at you come on girl back in oh man I should go to the bathroom and check my shorts after that one tie pans usually don't come out and visit me like that here is this something you want to eat here Sorry folks, my eye is on the Taipan and get in there, get in there. My eye is on the, the Taipan and not on where the camera is pointing. Woo. Now the question is, do I want to deal with you again, you rat vacuum? Look at that. Do you see yourself? Uh, yeah. Hamachidus, Hamachidus. Or the ring hall. It's relatively diminutive cobra from Africa. These are the banded variety. And as you can see, they're quite feisty and they are uh, spitters. They also like to play dead like hognose snakes when molested, but I don't think we'll do that today. Hello. Yes, you can just strike and and I would be just happy with that. Um, no spitting allowed. Look at that beautiful hood. Uh, thanks for distracting him, Mr. Bob. Uh, maybe we can do that again so I can get... Uh, he is spitting. Okay, yes. Yes, folks, you can see uh, the spit on the lens. So he is spitting. There you go. Trying to focus on the spit. <laughs> you little toad. 
Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be a real fire hose. Oh, stop. Stop, stop, you little toad. Okay, let's see if we can get a picture. Well, okay, uh, so much for non-spitting little spitters. So before we get uh, soaked here, we're going to put this guy and uh, the other seven that arrived today uh, in their, their temporary quarters until they move on. Match this cam. Banded ring alls. Woo woo. Hi, how are you? Oh well, that's a cold icy stare. That's a cold icy stare. Here's another fine example of a banded ring hall. Very very nice. Are you going to behave or are you going to misbehave? Anyone want to tell me what that might be? Oh, look at that. Is that tasty, huh? Oh, you like that, huh? Oh, oh. Forest Cobra Cam. Okay, now, come on, settle down. I know you smell something good to eat, but you've been really well fed. I know, settle down. It's only the camera. Now this guy is not used to being on camera very much um, because this guy has been raised by Bob. Uh, he was at Bob's all this time for basically a year and uh, I will, uh, uh, Bob was running out of room for big guys like this. Bob fosters a number of babies for me uh, once I get them uh, started in feeding and stuff. And this very, very beautiful with almost a monocle cobra uh, eye on the back of his hood. Um, actually, you would be fooled looking at him from the back uh, and not uh, from the side of the face. Come on, bud. Here. You want to go on the hook? There you go. There, you're on the hook. Okay, you're on the hook, bud. It's a little tough to... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful belly on him. As uh, Bob said, he's a pretty laid-back character so far, but he really hasn't hit his teenage. Now, I'm sorry. There's one rule that we have here, and that's not climbing on the camera or the cameraman. Thank you. Oh, now you're insulted. Now you're insulted. Look at the little bit of hood he's got. Oh, Viper Keeper just yelled at me. I'm going to get him now. Yeah, you're going to get me by climbing the hook, aren't you? Aren't you? I'm going to have to let go of the hook here in a minute. Here. There we go. Mmm. Sorry, folks, a little bit backlit. Like I said, the uh, lighting isn't optimal here at the lair yet because I haven't uh, put in the daylight uh, bulbs and such and fixtures. Hey, come on. You net, you're making Viper Keeper very nervous here. Huh? Yeah, I know. Oops. Sorry, folks. Uh, we have a live one. We have a live one. Come on. I know. I know you're sticking me with your tailpiece. Who invited you to come out? Huh? Come on. Go back in your hut. There you go. There you go. You can't quite let him get away. 
but it sort of lets him know what the bounds are, I think. You know, he can't get out of the room, but he can certainly make it uh, difficult to catch. What? Huh? Are you busy now? Well, I'm sorry. Well, at any rate, that's our uh, newest uh, resident forest cobra. And look at that. See what I mean? You would swear he was a monocle cobra, but he's not. He's a Naya Manaluka. Uh, he's such a, he is a gorgeous little snake. Wow, everybody, look at this. We have some eggs. But I can see that uh, all of them but one uh, are not going to hatch. Uh, especially these that she laid in the water. Those are most certainly suffocated. Uh, but if you if you look at I gotta be careful because there's there's an echis nearby. Mm. Hi mom. Are you mom? Or is mom over there? I don't know, but uh I'm gonna use the forceps and grab those eggs rather than my fingers because you're relatively close. See these guys are not uh they're yellow, and I'll show you here on the uh, on the blue uh, surgical towel what they look like. If they look yellow like this, it means that the shell didn't properly form around the yolk, and it's probably not going to do well. And she has a history of this. Now this one, we'll put right next to it. Look at that. Now that's that's a good egg. <laughs> Funny not intended. Sorry folks. Oh, you were, you were a really good egg when you were in your shell there, bud. Um, that one might hatch. Of course, it's got to be fertile first. Uh, since there's two boys in there with her, uh, uh, I'm hoping that that may be the case. But you can see the difference from here that those are uh, uh, those are good now since I have a number of snakes that like the eggs I just might uh, uh, feed some of the uh, other uh, guys just a little bit of uh, some egg to recycle it rather than uh, toss it out in the yard and let some other animal eat it in this way uh, it will not go totally wasted. Hi mom. You popped all those puppies out? I know I see your big pupils there. I'm sorry. No wonder you weren't eating over the past few weeks. Very unusual for her. Mmm. Were those tasty Mr. Brown, huh? Would you like another? Mr. Brown is recycling today. It's in your cage. Go and get it. Go and get it. Here you go. Oh, good for you, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown likes eggs. Mmm. There's no... These eggs are would never hatch. Uh, they're mostly yolk. Uh, they look unfertilized. No reason not to... Re oh, good catch, Mr. Brown! Whoa, this could be a new sport. Bowling for Mr. Brown. Wow, he picked that right off in mid-roll. Good for you, my friend. Now, folks, remember, even though I say, oh, good for you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Brown, my friend, he would not hesitate in biting me for one second. Uh, so, you know, he's not my pet grizzly bear that I wrestle with and stuff. Uh, or my pet lion. He is uh, a pygmy mulga snake and he is quite, uh, quite the character.
You want this, Mr. Brown? Here, I'm going to toss it. You ready? You ready? Get it. Oh! That was my hand you were going after. Get in there. Get in there. Your egg is in there. I promise it's in there. Get it. Over here, Mr. Brown. And Mr. Brown. You want that egg? Here. Come get the egg. Here. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around, Mr. Brown. Come on, use your tongue and your nose. Oh, you're close, you're close. There you go, Mr. Brown. Scoops that puppy right up. That's very good. Now, Mr. Colette doesn't seem to be uh, into these. Um, so, I will uh, try to extract that. Oh, sorry, Mr. Collette. I didn't mean to upset you. Ah, sounds like it's really raining outside. I'm not used to working with these uh, endoscopic tools. So let me get uh, something that uh, I could pick that up with. Now let's go play bowling with Mr. Brown again. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Here. Here, bud. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here, Mr. Brown. Come on. <laughs> you dummy, you turned right into the damn tube. You boneheaded black, uh, black snake. Come on. I touch your tail. Oh, I touched your tail. Come on and get the get your treat. Here's your here's your bowling ball. Up, oh, don't bite your ass. Up, oh, you went past it. Uh, 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 the nose is coming online. It's it's around here. I can taste it. Go on, you can find it. There you go. Whoa, easy. Don't squeeze it. You'll juice it all over the place. Wow, Mr. Brown, you're getting a serious dose of protein. See, look at this. Uh, it's just a solid mass of yolk. It's, uh, it's unfertilized. No reason we can't recycle it for Mr. Brown. Oh, good. He could be an international soccer star. Oh, man. There you go, bud. How's that? I am the Eggman. Ooh, I am the Eggman. Oh, that's two sub two Beatles songs, Mr. Brown. We can associate with you now. Huh? You want to do Mr. Brown camp? No, no. This. Oh, big mouth open for Mr. Brown. Okay, have a drink, Mr. Brown. Look at that. We can. Six degrees of separation, we can connect Mr. Brown with the Beatles.